in the way out. So we we'll, we'll have, have money, to build, we'll have money if we have to January. build makeshift, makeshift shelters, we'll have to do that. But I'll tell you what, I'll be taking a corrupt country, but I'll be coming in, not a corrupt, both a corrupt and a broke country, but I'll be coming in with money. But I think there are no easy solutions, and I hear your concern. These are matters that we will have to see what we can do. And some of the possible solutions will be to look for ways, uh, makeshift. We probably might have to go, to go virtual in so some at, form at of moment, education. At the moment, you don't have a plan. Not, not for that specific number, but we have a covenant with Kenyans on education. We will put money into it. We will discuss and improve the CBC, not doing away with it altogether. We have that. We have said we'll give free education. In terms of a specific like that, it may not, again, a manifesto can't contain everything. But we have to find ways. Everybody must go to school. If we have to do it virtually, we will have to go that way. If we have to turn some government offices, I don't know, I have not thought about it. Every Kenyan must go to school, must get a learning. It's a problem, I agree, but again, it's, it's, it's a problem we have inherited and we have to find ways. Okay. As a president, I will not sit back. Okay. But with money, the sky will be the limit. You know what? Even classrooms, through fabricated materials, you can build a house, classrooms in a matter of weeks, if not days. You that understand? there will be money in my government. You understand, I want to ask you more about education, but you understand even getting that money to Kenya, the money that you're targeting, is not, must be an issue of legislation, must be an issue of the law. You know, it's at two levels, Ken. I'm talking, first of all, of our money out there, but I'm also talking of wastage from here. Okay. 